This is awesome. All right, guys, Jerry here. Of course, there's our buddy, fearless leader, Mr. Aaron Parker. We are super excited, and we are going to spend a few minutes right now talking to you about launching your event, okay, launching your business, whether, again, whether it's a relaunch, pre-launch, launch. We're excited for you, really pumped, very motivated to get this video out to you. As a matter of fact, this is actually the first Friday since the Tuesday of our first presentation. And hold on. What's up, Power Team? All right. Sorry, <clears throat> I was actually letting it, letting it roll. All right. Let's get right to it. The purpose of of this video was to educate you on last minute details. If not, whenever you do watch this, whether you are three days away, four days away, one day away. Seven days away, this is a good follow-up to the first video, but I really want to say first, please make sure that you do go over that first video. Um, Aaron and I, no doubt, spent a lot of time. <clears throat> There's a PowerPoint presentation that has some good script information, which are good invite, co invite in, um, word for word on what to say to prospects, what to say to people, friends, family, coworkers, college buddies, um, you name it, uh, pretty much anybody, network marketers. Uh, so there's room for everybody to attend a launch. Okay. So Aaron, man, how you feeling today? I know you're. I know you're excited. It's a Friday. Yes. Fire. I've just got a new premiere sale. We got people launching their business left and right. Things are rocking. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. We've had, uh, I think, more engagement since we announced this. Uh, how many people? Like 70, 80 people. Yeah, right? we got over 80 people in the group. Our our new group for this uh, pre-launch strategy. Wow, 80 people took advantage of this just getting exclusive access through a new private Facebook group so that you could stay on top uh, and actually get more uh, access to this exact strategy. The question so, is how many are going to actually do it? That's true. How many people are actually going to not just do it? How about this? Follow through, and I think that's the first thing that Aaron and I want to talk about. We want to talk to you about actual follow-up. So, Aaron, let me just ask you, why don't you take it from here? Since I know you, you wanted to touch base on that first. Sure. Okay. So we're going to talk about several things in this video. One of the big ones is follow up. So just a couple, you know, things that pop out of my head when you are leading up to your launch day. One of the most here, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I was talking to someone about their launch just the other day, and one of the ways, actually, I think, shoot, I was doing it on the hangout. So you guys should have already seen that. But you know, you realize that the launch is. Your, your day, the day of your launch, that's the day that the space shuttle takes off. But think about how much preparation goes in, how many hundreds of people, and how much prep time is involved before the shuttle actually takes off. And we're talking about, you know, I mean, in that example, it's weeks, it's months, you know, and, and even the day of the launch, you know, think about how much work is involved prior to the actual lifting off of the space shuttle. You need to think about your business the same way. Think about even a traditional business. If you look at any brick and mortar business, think about think about a Subway or a McDonald's. You know, someone spends a million dollars to buy a McDonald's, and from the day that they write that check or however they do it, they make the commitment to buy that business. How much work is involved before the doors open? You know, I mean, just I guess here locally there was a Chipotle. I love Chipotle. So I walked in the Chipotle, and the guy's like, hey, we're not open yet. We open next week. I'm like, oh, I can't wait. I'm like itching to get in the door. Now, why? Well, because I love Chipotle, and I'm like, I'm dialed in. When they open, I'm going there for lunch. So you want your customers, you want the people on your list to be itching for your launch day. You want them to be so excited, so ready for the day that you launch your business, just like the day that Chipotle opens the doors to their business. How much pre-work, how much pre-launching are they doing prior to the doors opening? There's so much that goes into it. And the more that you put into your pre-launch, the more success you're going to have when you launch. If you treat the pre-launch like it's a hobby and you're just kind of, you know, dilly-dallying and maybe you're making some calls, doing a few follow-ups, sending a few messages or emails, then your pre-launch is a failure in my opinion and the launch will be a failure. And I, and, and I love, Jerry, that we've created this, this separate group for those that are serious about doing this because we can be a little more hardcore, a little more locker room, and just tell it like it is. 
because when we did our launch, when I did mine, when Jerry did his, it was hardcore. Like we were flat out 100%. Nothing in our life during the pre-launch was more important than the pre-launch. Like I was like, honey, kids, you're not going to see me for a while. Well, why? Well, because this is the most important thing I've ever done in my life. And next month, this time next month, you'll be thanking me when the thousands of dollars of residual income is coming in, and they did. But they had to be on the same page. Everyone around me was on the same page because the pre-launch is that important. You want to have more intensity, more excitement, more passion during the pre-launch, and then when you launch successfully because you had a successful pre-launch, guess what? It doesn't stop. Now you're making money, you have your successful launch, and the, everything continues. It, it gets even more intense. But leading up to your launch day, follow up. You want to be following up with everyone. What does that mean? Just off the top of my head, and then Jerry, you can interject. It means replying to every email personally that who said, yes, I'm going to be at your launch. If you got 20 emails from people that said, yes, I'll be there, you don't want to send broadcasts, which you do that too. You want to send personal reply emails to each person. It could be a copy and paste message. Hey, John, so excited I'm going to see you tomorrow at this time. Here's the information again below. I'll see you there. Let me know if you have any questions. You follow up the day before at least once, and you follow up the day of at least once, whether you follow up via personal email, a Facebook private message, get confirmation again. Even though they said they were going to be there, say, hey, John, I'm so glad you committed to being there. I just want to follow up with you because I only have enough room for a certain amount of people. Create the exclusivity of this event, your pre-launch, your sorry, your launch event, the call, the hangout. It's exclusive to a small group of people. Tell them that. Say, look, you made a commitment to be there. I just want to follow up and make sure you will be there. Yes, you'll be there. Yes, true, false, yes, no, maybe. Let me know right now. I need to know. You want to have that level, <laughs> Jerry's like pungent. You want to have that level of confidence and um, you know, commitment in your follow-up. Like, they're going to be blown away when you're that committed to your follow-up. And like, wow, this guy is serious or this gal is serious. If you have events, a lot of you are creating events on Facebook. Every single person, listen carefully, every single person that checks that they're going, they're going to the event. It tells you every person who's going. You better be commenting in the group or in the in the event where it says John Smith is going you better like it you better comment it hey John I'm so excited you'll be there and then a day before the event go back in and re-comment and tag every single person hey I'm so glad you're gonna be here I'm looking forward to seeing you again you know space is very limited just wanna confirm you'll be there right get another confirmation from everyone the people who said they were maybe going which is also in the event Send them private messages. You know, you might have five or ten maybes. Those are, those are prospects. Find out why they couldn't commit. Is it a bad time? Maybe you have a separate call with all the maybes. So it's these types of things that you, I'm, I'm telling you this, and you know you should do it. The question is, are you doing it? Are you doing this with intensity and with passion leading up to your launch? If you don't do these things, the follow-up process with every single person, your failure will fit. Or sorry, your launch will fail. Don't let that happen. You're in control of that. Jerry, over to you. Yeah. Oh my God. Aaron shot out of a cannon, man. Just like the, sh the space shuttle. Boom. Went crazy. Here's, a, here's another couple of ideas. One is some of you already have a list. Some of you already have an AWeber list or get responsive. Whatever you have or you've accumulated a list. These are people that are already loyal to you. What you want to do is send an email to them and ask them that same question in the script, get them engaged, and have these people move them over, get them separated from your generic list, right? You can even create a new opt-in form so that they can opt in just for information on the actual launch, okay? So that's another you know, high-tech strategy that you can do. Here's another strategy that every person who is literally 
who's listening to this white or who's watching this right now can do. Okay, <laughs> what I really want you to do is take advantage of and and just hear me because friends and family truly. Okay, do they need an extra five hundred to a thousand dollars on a weekly basis? Would they like to? Would they like to be making money from home? See, this is where honestly, Aaron, people do not challenge themselves. They don't challenge themselves to literally go talk to people that they know and invite them to a hangout where honestly, you know, we don't even tell them, you know, the name of the company. We just want them to attend. That's if they're looking. So use your phone, use your directory, use whatever you got to your advantage. And then what I would do for these people that are really close to you, guess what? Listen to me right now. I'm sure you have their address. Right? What if you seriously sent them a card? Okay, this is totally off. I'm telling you, this is really what gets people. Everything that Aaron and I are are sharing with you right now is what separates the leaders from the pack. It's because you are separating yourself to be different and to be memorable in your prospect eyes. Let me explain this. What most people just want to do is text, chat, email, and and that's it. And that's the reason why they don't get the success. That's the reason why they don't get people engaged with their people is because they're just doing what 95% of the people do. Honestly, 95% of the people continue doing what they're doing without changing things and they expect different results. We want you to do things differently. Take it another take your business up a notch so that you are memorable in your prospect eyes, okay? Replying Sending a card, sending an e-card. Oh my God, sending an e-card. Check that out. I mean, seriously, guys. You know, one 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 e-card, one phys a real legitimate card in the mail, mail to your prospects, or a postcard. These are the things that are shock your prospects so much. So, I think that is the focus regarding follow up or literally your your pre-launch fit your phase that is leading up all the way the days that are leading up to your actual launch day is crucial it's actually you know, I know Aaron just mentioned his pre-launch but when I actually did my launch okay I was truly on a mission I really I mean I was desperate and and actually I literally signed on the dotted line five days four, f four or five days after I did my first pre-launch kinda hangout okay I did a conference call it's totally different, okay? And I'm actually doing some conference calls for some other people on the power team that want to do a conference call. But the the emphasis is just this: I pick up the picked up the phone and called other marketers that I knew. I called people that I knew would be open to hearing from me. And this is an exercise. This is definitely something. It really does test, honestly, how bad do you want it? Because we want you to really make sure that this becomes the emphasis of of your actual uh, launch strategy. All right, so <clears throat> Aaron, I think we've kind of exhausted. We wanted to make sure this was this was huge. What I'm gonna uh, just cover right now is is very briefly some things that you definitely want to make sure that you get up you get up and running. One is this: make sure that you go through my video that I did yesterday. And Aaron, if you haven't seen it, but it's a simple video that does cover how to actually do a hangout. It covers how to start a hangout. Make sure that you open up the Hangout and literally click the record button and just test it because you may need a plugin to get it running. Now, whether your sponsor is going to run the Hangout or not, you still need to go through this exercise, and that is because you will need a plugin <clears throat> that's, that's part of either Chrome or Firefox. So, hey, Jerry. <coughs> yeah. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I got it. I just want to give people a visual. So I'm here in the private power team relaunch pre-launch training group, which obviously if you're watching this hangout right now, you should already be a part of. This is the video, um, new video training uploaded, how to create run your first Google Hangout. By the way, this video training as well as additional video trainings that will be added will always be available from the files. So if we go to files real quick, um, I have it right here under homework and training. I'm not even going to click on it. This is something that if you're in this group, if you have not done, is the most important thing you could do is go through the homework videos and the training videos. Uh, the, the, hang, the video that Jerry just referred to is also in this document. Back to you. Can't hear you. All right, do me a favor. Click on that homework and training. I added a, uh, a file there yesterday. 
Yeah, here it is. It's under training. It says how to create and run your first Google Hangout. I deleted the file because we don't need the file and the post. It's right, right here so under, under the homework and training document. I want to keep this files area as clean as possible. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I all was of the links, running. all of the training links and training videos will be right here under the homework and training um, document in the files. It'll all be here. Here's the training area. The first one's right here. How to create and run your first Google Hangout. There's the link. And as we add additional, like the one we're doing now, we will put this in here as well as a link under this document. All right, good. I just was wondering if I if my files didn't make it there or I wasn't the administrator or something like that. But good. Yeah, I'm glad you've been uh, taking care of that. Good, good, good. Uh, other than that, guys, you know, really what you want to do is <clears throat> I just want to focus on right now for the next few minutes and just talk to you about when the actual hangout happens and how you want to be able to step up and make sure that you are perceived. And I'm, I'm going to say this. You want to be perceived as a leader, okay? And it will start, honestly, with actually how you look on video, okay? So make sure you dress the part. You know, don't dress like you know you just you know got out of shower or something like that. But the you bottom mean, line you, is, is, you mean you shouldn't? You mean you have to have a shirt on and and actually do something <laughs> with your hair, maybe shave, and yeah. and don't do it in the bathroom. Right. Don't do it. Don't do your hangout in the bathroom and do it where people can hear you right and do it where you look like you're serious and you're very excited because you want to be – if you're having anybody on your hangout and if that person has more success than you, you know, basically get to know that person. Ask them or if you don't know the success that they've had, you want to have a fair introduction of this person and honestly – Sometimes in this type of a, of an in this type of environment, if you introduce your sponsor and introduce this person, uh, and you do show how much you respect this person, it'll go a long way. This will go a very 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 long way in your prospect's eyes. Okay, just go over my slides. Remember, you know, as we start the hangout, you're the person. You are running your own hangout, and then you're you want to introduce yourself, thank people for coming. And then let them know that you're excited to share with them how, again, they can earn 500 to 1,000 weekly, you know, with a company that you're partnered with called, called Nucopia. And then tell them why you're excited. I would just focus on tell them who you are, why you're excited, and of course why you know why they should pay attention to now their sp your sponsor or the person that's actually on the hangout with you. Okay, Aaron, do you want to share anything else aside yeah, from that? One thing, a couple quick things. Um, if you're talking to warm market, a great line, you want to write this down. You may or may not be interested. This may or may not be for you. You may not qualify. Those are three really great things you can say to warm market because it takes the, all the pressure off you. And you have to remember that if they say no, they're not saying no to you. They're not saying no to, to the fact that you're friends with them or family. They're just saying no to the business, and that's okay. You need to disconnect the emotional attachment to your warm market saying no. You want to say, look, I have something that has me more excited about making money than I've ever been a part of in my life. You know that I've been doing this stuff for a while, right? There's a good chance a lot of you have been doing home-based businesses, right? Like a lot of us. So if you've been around the block and you don't want to go to your warm market, a great way to approach them is like, hey, John, listen, I'm going to be real with you. Hey, Mary, whoever it is, friend, family, listen, you know I've been doing this stuff for a while. You know I haven't had as much success as I wanted to have, but, oh, here it goes. I know there's a but. There's something that's taking place with a company, and I'm doing a launch. I'm launching a business. Here's some things you want to write down. Write this down right now. Um, you need to pause the video, pause the video. You want to say things like, um, um, I thought of you, and I would love your opinion. Get the opinion. If you go the opinion route, then it takes off of whether they say yes or no. It's just like, hey, I would love your opinion because I respect um, who you are and what you've done, and I'd love to get your opinion about my new launch. Listen, this may not be for you. You might have zero interest. You might not even qualify to work with us. 
You see what that did, just did? It like completely took it away from them. Like you may not even be able to even work with us even if you want to. And they're like, huh? I want to see what this is. Like what you're doing is you're at least creating the curiosity for them to come take a look. That's it. That's all you want is get the eyeballs there because someone who might be there just to give you their opinion, right? Not interested at all, but because you got them there, some of those people say, you know what? I want to do this. Can I do this? Am I allowed to do this? And you'll flip them around. So just take some of that into consideration. Those are some great things that you can say. Um, another thing, waiting list. This is a different, somewhat of a different strategy. And Jerry, I want to get your thoughts on this because I heard you mention this. The way that Jerry, you did your launch and the way that I did my launch is during the pre-launch, we were preparing people for Nucopia. And they already knew what Nucopia was. Some of them had even watched some videos before the launch. Now, why did we do that? Well, because by the time our launch day came, these people were ready to join. They were excited. You had already done three-way calls with your sponsor so that on launch day, the day that it's go, go time and people can sign up, you've already got people ready to go. And you have the launch, the, the hangout or the webinar to get everyone connected, to answer questions, to go more detail and to officially launch. So the question is, Jerry, is that, and maybe we need to do something completely different from this, let me know, but there could be two different paths of people taking where one is what we did and that is the prospects during the pre-launch are already finding out about Nucopia. Or are they having to wait until launch day and so on launch day that's when they're for the first time getting exposed to what Nucopia is. And if you're going that route you could create like Jerry said an AWeber opt-in form. It's just called get on my launch waiting list, something like that. And it's enter your name, phone number, email. And when they do, I mean this could go into a whole other thing because I was teaching someone else about this where on the opt-in page it could be a video of you and you could say, hey, this is Aaron, I'm so excited, I'm launching my business. If you want to be first to know and get on the waiting list now, just opt in. And I'll be sending you email updates as we lead up to the launch day which is on such and such date. And so these people on the waiting list wouldn't actually know what the heck you were doing until launch day. And leading up to launch day, you're sending emails, you're making calls, you're doing follow-ups, you're doing all kinds of stuff to get people excited. The sense of urgency and the curiosity in their mind is going to be off the charts. Come launch day, boom, you get freaking tons of people on your conference call or on your hangout to find out what the heck you're doing and this would be the first time that they're being exposed to Nucopia. So two different routes. Jerry, your thoughts. Yeah, I definitely I definitely recommend, you know, using a Weber, you know, for you know, this may be not the right strategy for maybe many of you if you don't have a Weber. But I would say Aaron and I, you know, would definitely qualify to do another video or maybe do a training on a Weber and how you can position yourself with a new list, with that pre-launch list, which is crucial. Um, just had another great idea, Aaron. So uh, I'll talk to you about that. Uh, so cool stuff. This is all very, very good. Uh, please, you know, when you watch this video, you know, just realize if we're leaving anything, any questions literally not answered, you need to get in touch with us. You need to post that underneath this video when it actually gets posted. Uh, so. Um, well, if they're watching this, then it's already been posted. So if er anything that we've covered in this video, you have any questions, right below this video, in this group, post your questions. Jerry and I or anyone else who's capable will answer those questions right away. Yeah, I mean, off the top of my head right now, you know, the emphasis truly is, is, is in your invite. The invite is always, you know, I like that analogy, you know, with Chipotle, which comes down to, you know, they they literally these stores, these mom and pop stores, put in thousands and thousands of dollars in marketing, okay, in hardware, in infrastructure, in you know everything that you can imagine, and all goes in before they even literally open the door. So if you put in literally a tenth, maybe even one percent of the money, the effort, the time that it takes, and the focus, because it really is a mindset and it's a choice to have this mindset. Because um, when it really is said and done, uh, you know, 
a leader has the mindset. You can figure out everything else, all this technical stuff. You can figure out on the go. Uh, I still get frustrated with Hangouts. I really do. I still get frustrated with, um, I mean, mostly anything technical. You know, if you start doing WordPress and all this stuff, you still get frustrated with it. But it really comes down to, you know what? Uh, my mindset is in check. Okay, you know Aaron's mindset is in check. He knows his purpose. He knows what he's doing. Do you know what you're doing this event for? Do you know why your launch is taking place? Okay. Now some of you may be thinking, hey, you know, maybe I'm doing this too soon. You know what? Run with it. You schedule time. Don't stop now. Don't even think about canceling. I'm just saying it to you. I'm being really honest with you. I'm being your friend, your coach, your mentor right now. You need to stick forward, stay focused, and stay on course. And whatever happens, happens. And here's the other thing. We will create another video that talks about what do you do with this video? What do you do with the Hangout? Because the Hangout is, you know, it actually is the result, yes, of what you're building toward. <clears throat> but you can use this video in a number of ways. You know, we can talk to you about you know using it on a, on a video after on a capture page by creating your own capture page. Uh, you can use it on your fan page. You can use it on your blog. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can definitely use it, but we won't tackle that right now. A Aaron, anything else before we close up shop for the, for the day? Uh, hold on a second. <clears throat> that was uh, that was our founder. I'll have to call him back. Um. I just had a great thought, and I forgot what it was. Um, crap. I'm excited. Um, guys, get um, – man, I really wanted to say what I said, but I just lost my train of thought. It's all good. This, this is great stuff, guys. Um, stay uh, – man, what was it? <laughs> um, I don't know. But this whole, this whole video we just did, Jerry, thank you for putting this together. This was a lot of really, really good stuff. Um, I hope this helps. If you got some value from this, and this is gonna help. Here's the thing: we have, we have, as the time of this recording, there's 80 people in this group, in this private group. Um, I want to know how many of you not just are watching this, but who got some value from this? Who thinks this is gonna help you in your launch? Don't just like it. Drop a comment. Give us your thoughts. <laughs> what was, what did you like best about this video? That's gonna help you in your pre-launch. Drop a comment below. Let us know. If you have any questions, let us know. We're going to continue to do trainings like this to further um, enhance your ability to do these launches and pre-launches. And the, the launch that you're doing right now is not just a one-time thing. You can do a relaunch in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and we'll talk more about that too. Mm -hmm. Right now, focus on the pre-launch. And I said this, and the, and the Chipotle thing's a perfect analogy. If you don't do the right things in the pre-launch, then your launch day will be not what you want it to be. And so just realize it's all about what you do before the launch. And I just remembered what I was going to say. When you have your launch, and let's just say worst case, you only have one, two, three people, okay? I'm going to speak from personal experience. When you have a call, conference call, when you have a hangout, this is really important. The prospects have no idea how many people are listening. And what happens is you're excited. You're so, you've worked so hard, right, for this launch. And on launch day, you do your hangout and your call, and you're expecting 30 people. 30 people said they were going to show up, and only five made it. And instantly, your energy goes from jacked out of your mind to, <laughs> I'm a failure. This sucks. Where the frick is everybody? What the hell? Blah, blah, blah. And all you're thinking about is the people who didn't make it. So I'm, I'm preparing you now. Do not let that happen. Every ounce of energy and every ounce of excitement and every ounce of your thoughts must be on who's there. That is all that matters. Afterwards, you get the replay or you follow up with everyone who didn't make it. But during the call, you need to be just as excited and you focus all of your energy on who is there. That's what you need to focus on. Make sure you guys do that because I've made that mistake in the past. 
Don't let it happen. All right, Aaron, let, let me, uh, you know what, since we brought this up, I really want to cover a couple things. Uh, one is, all of that is incredible, you know, important, and the focus is, is, is this. Some, sometimes we don't know who's actually on the Hangout, okay? And, you know, that's, that's actually, I, we definitely want to talk about this right now, which is that you really want to be so engaged with your prospects that you should know who's going to be on. Okay, it's when somebody says to me, Aaron, hey, how many people do we have on? Like they want to know, right? And they don't know exactly the people that are on. I mean, that is a that's an issue with Google Hangouts. You know, you just don't know who's on. But here's the here's the thing: when you are on live, what you want to do is say this: tell your prospects to go to your event page. Tell them to go to your event page, which is you know basically that you set up and you want everybody there to give a roll call that's how that's the first step get everybody to be engaged and tell them hey who's on today where are you from okay I'm telling you this is huge because this is part of what you want to do in getting and getting started and getting people engaged that way you'll know when you go to your event page you should actually see some people you know hopefully they're gonna volunteer and they're gonna say it, and they will so that's one thing. The other thing is if you are doing really what the emphasis is of this call, which is to really focus on your invite and to be engaged and to show people that you're different and to be memorable, you will know who is attending. Okay? So make it every effort to find out from somebody, hey, are you on? And honestly, this is really what I would do if you don't know the phone number of people. What I would do is reply and say, hey, by the way, can I get your number? Can I get your phone number? You know, when I do that, I get people that say, "Yeah, great. Uh, you know, I just want to be able to touch base with you, you know, sometime later today, and see if I can directly answer questions." What's your number? Okay, take the extra step. Ask people for phone numbers. You know, or if they refuse, just blatantly give your phone number out. It's worked many times. I've enrolled people into Nucopia because I just was the first person to give out my phone number. So these are steps, guys, that you want to employ in your business, not just for the launch, but all the time, and become somebody who wants that engagement. Um, let's see. Anything else, Aaron? Oh, and, and the follow-up. This was it. Literally after the Hangout, what you want to do is you, know, you want to have some of these people that you want to call. So have their name. Have their phone number. Know who's on and do a three-way with your sponsor that night, that day, no delay. Okay, it's hot on them right there. You want to be able to, you know, personally give out your website if you have it. If they have not gone through capture page number three, ending your hangout with that would be the perfect time to do it. And then do a three-way with your sponsor. Get a chance for them. Put your sponsor on the line so that they can talk to your prospect. And of course, above all, let your sponsor do most of the talking. Okay, let them let, learn from their sp your sponsor so you can see how the dialogue goes so that they can actually get the answers from your prospects, okay? And you'll find out. Most people are going to want to join, and that's because you're going through these steps, all right? Anything else, uh, Aaron? Guys, just from doing this, my mind's spinning with all kinds of stuff, with new ideas and things for everyone to have successful pre-launches and launches, what to do before, what to do after, what we just gave you in this hangout was rock solid information. Seriously, no joke. Watch it again. Take notes. This is this is this is what it takes. This is this is what it's all about. And I'm really really excited to see not who's just here in this group, who's just watching. I want to see who's doing. Who's going to take this information and put it into action? And who's going to be as we've been talking about? Who's going to be the top 10 of you that produce the most results this month, September 2013? Guys, you rock. Jerry, thanks for putting this together. Um, let's do it, everybody. Kick some you butt. Got it. Absolutely. Kick some butt is right. Catch you guys later.